Well, hello everyone, my name is Arkrector and welcome back to another modded creature guide. In today's creature guide, we're going to take a look at the Atlas Drake from the mod Shad's Atlas Imports. The Atlas Drake got a TLC, which means he got a new rig and new and better animations, and also his taming food changed completely. Due to the TLC, I actually have a reason to remake this very old and shitty video that I made like two years ago about him. But yeah guys, without any further ado, let's jump right into this video, shall we? First of all, where can you find them? The Atlas Drake only spawns in mountains, scorched mountains, volcanic environments, and volcano biomes. The Atlas Drake is a standard knockout tame, so just get yourself a good long neck rifle and some trank darts. You can only tame the Atlas Drake with the Mythos Kibble. Which is a new kind of kibble that has been added to the Atlas Import mod. You can unlock this kibble at level 94, and to craft it you need 3 Extraordinary Kibble, 2 Fertilized Razor Tooth Eggs, 5 Fertilized Shield Tone Eggs, 2 Fertilized Grand Tortuga Eggs, and Mythos 25 times. Mythos is a very rare unique substance that only certain creatures from this mod actually drop. Those creatures would be Atlas Drake, Atlas Hydra, Mongrel Cyclops, and the Gorgon. You simply just get Mythos from killing one of those creatures. Next up, I'm trying to cover these three creatures as fast as possible. Keep in mind, those are just the creatures where you need the eggs from. First of all would be this guy, the Razortooth. You can only find these guys in jungles, green deserts, redwoods, the Fertile Chamber on Aberration, and the Sun Forest on Extinction. These guys are standard knockout tames and you just give them either Extraordinary Kibble or if you don't have that, just raw mutton. Next up is the Shieldhorn. This guy only spawns in jungles, green deserts, the Fertile Chamber on Aberration, the Sunken Forest on Extinction, and the Bog Biome on Genesis. These guys are standard knockout tames and their preferred taming food would be Exceptional Kibble, but if you don't have that, just give them base crops or major berries. Last but not least, we have the Grand Tortuga. You can find these guys at beaches, rivers, in the ocean, and the ocean biome on Genesis. Their standard knockout tames, and the preferred taming food would be superior kibble, but if you don't have that, just give them raw mutton. Now let's talk about the structures that you need for the trap. You need three behemoth stone dinosaur gateways, two stone behemoth gates, and one large bear trap. And the creature that I would recommend when you want to lurk this guy into the trap would be a Thalacolio with 150% movement speed. Left click is a bite, has good damage and DPS. Right click is a strong fire breath. C is a claw slash, this harvests metal and other resources. And X is a raw for aesthetics. 
When in the air, the Atlas Drake can use all the attacks that I previously mentioned, and he can also regenerate his stamina mid-flight by just hovering in the air. Similar to Snow Owls or Griffins, this guy has a diving flight. The Atlas Drake is immune to fire, has natural armor, heavy materials such as stone, metal, etc. get a weight reduction of 75%. So, this is the end of the video guys, if you enjoyed it, please do me a huge favor and smack the like button. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again, just subscribe and hit the bell. Have an absolutely amazing and beautiful day, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.